They're always one step ahead. They don't need to second guess us when they're covering all the angles. Let's go. Cover me. Got me into this shit. Come on. They said this would be fancy hard. seeing you here. to the street. You settling in here? Come on, let's go! Come on. These chumps have been chopping up cars around the corner from my apartment for the last year. The ex-cop and me clocked it months ago, but the deadbeat and me didn't give a shit. What the fuck?
wine with the leather. There's plenty here, going begging. This don't show the blood so much. Scotch and pills. What could possibly go wrong? How's this look? Look, I know you're enjoying this nostalgia trip and all, but come on! The longer okay. this went on, the more I wanted to prove the killer's wrong. You can't buy your way through life. The guys dead around me were DeMarco's victims as much as I was gonna be. He dangled something irresistible in front of them, and now, it was them who paid the ultimate price. these parts. Let's just get over there. Yeah? Think you need a hand? No, do you? Let's go, Amigo. You like that? <laughs> Should be a bit quieter in here. Yeah, it's nice. I can see why you'd want to leave this place, Max. It's real charming. <laughs> Isn't it? So look, I got some friends in Queens. We can stay there for a few days. Queens? <sighs> you want a job yet, Max? So here we were, miles up the Tiente River. Looking for what we did not know. Max. You listening? Max! So like I was saying, I think they're a group called the Krashapre. Why did you tell me they were called the CS? They are. I mean, Fabiana. She was kidnapped by the CS. The guys that crashed our little party at the stadium, they were a group of paramilitaries. You'll have to forgive me for not being able to follow all this. You're not supposed to follow it. The government can't even follow it. It ensures that no one's ever guilty. So why'd they do it? Bust us at the stadium. Eh, somebody told them we were gonna be there with a whole lot of money. Anyway, the money's gone. I just hope we can get the girl back. Yeah, me too. I wonder where the hell she is. You know there's a harbor about a half a mile up? It's gotta be there. This is a known Commando Sombra area. You know, if I'd been doing my job properly, we wouldn't be out here in the middle of nowhere looking for some broad who got pinched on my watch. That's what we tell ourselves, huh? It's all our fault. No, I'm serious. By the time they grabbed the girls, I was half cut. I ain't slipping, man. I'm slipped. I'm a bad joke. Max, we work private security. We're all ex-soldiers, ex-special forces, ex-cops, ex-good guys. We all have our reasons why we became ex. Maybe now we can put things right, okay? So that was it, was it? Say the magic word and be absolved of your sins. If only shit were that simple, I'd have done it years ago. Me, I'd been stuck in the past so long, I'd forgotten what year it was. Hey, Max, quit your daydreaming. This is it. It's over there. I'm gonna cut the engine. Light in. 
Don't go anywhere. Looked like Passos had brought us to the right place. That was the chopper the Commando Sombra used to escape the nightclub attack. If Fabiana wasn't around here, then at least someone that knew where she was had to be. Here I was, some hopped up gringo a long way from home, making trouble the only way I knew. As the weather worsened, I caught a glimpse of the rusted shells of previous lives that had been lived out here in this swampy shithole, and I wondered if I would end up the same way, or what would happen to that girl I was supposed to protect. as part of me would rather be anywhere else. I knew this was where I had to be. I felt responsible. I just had to fix the situation right here. I couldn't understand them, but I didn't have to. Cheap hoods are the same from here to Timbuktu. The slab of meat on the boat was clearly the boss. Serrano, they called him. And it seemed that our suspicions were correct. Fabiana was here, somewhere further ahead. I had to find her quickly and quietly if possible. Last thing I wanted was a party with these clowns. the signs of life, rubbing them out as I went along. I'd seen enough to know that Fabiana was at least alive, if not exactly well. Her captors didn't look like they were quite the kind and gentle type. I had to find that room quickly. Oh, no cigar aí, pelo tempo. Tem sim, cara, para de mentira. Vai se fuder, cara. Vai tomar no meio do cu. Eu vou te meter bala, hein. Vá se fuder, porra. Oi, Dani, você tá aí? Você tem um cigarro?
I didn't want to think about what would be happening on that video feed now. Just my own imminent cameo. scene was somewhere up ahead. I had to keep moving. I hoped that I'd find Fabiana sooner than later, if at all. That was the chair that she had been held in. I had just missed them. They'd been making a reality show starring Sao Paulo's favorite housewife. Probably thought it would grease the wheels with the ransom money, but it only made me want to shove the cash down their throats. She was on the move. If they'd finally decided to kill her, I wasn't doing anything to persuade them otherwise.
Ti, caralho! Sua burguesinha safada! There she was, right in front of me. The drunk fool in me wanted to make a play. But I had just about enough sense to know that I'd end up with another dead girl in my arms if I did. I was in a cocaine factory, but I'd stick to the depressants. It seemed Serrano's boys had targeted the entire Bronco family and didn't give a shit which one they pinched. Serrano had taken Fabiana through the garage door. I had to find a way to open it. The coke in the air wasn't doing anything to sharpen my thinking. Was there a switch in that room? I opened the door to the next circle of this low-rent hell.
Serrano was reading his reviews. Vain chump. The newspaper was plastered with the news of the first kidnapping attempt. These were the floor plans to the nightclub. Seemed Mr. Serrano liked to be prepared. Proper little boy scout. I could get through on the catwalk if I went back into the other room. seen Fabiana in a worrying amount of time, but at least I wasn't following a trail of her fingers.
thought I might find something on the other side of the gate. Malaria tablets might have been more useful out there. I had to keep on going across the docks. They were. I had the feeling I'd been running one step behind ever since I got to this country. And maybe a few years before that as well.
Tira desse cara! slipping out of our grip. I was an overconfident chump who'd gone into the jungle alone. Oh, shit! More company! You saw her? She's alive? How much longer? I don't know. Damn, ain't it? Five 
Fabiana's boat is in the front. Don't lose it. Keep after them. us from the one we need. I can't get a shot on Fabiana's. We ain't gonna be able to take much more of this. Neither are they. Come on. We can't lose her. Making progress. I can't concentrate with bullets whizzing past my head. us.
office should get a load of this. Man, they know all about it. Shows a different campaign. The place was crawling. How many guys they got? How many poor kids want nice sneakers? It ain't hard to hire. Hey, we're on him again. You see Fabian? Move up on them. All right, all right. So get us a little closer. Close in. Come on, just give me a second. This is screwed. We're not coming this close to let her go. I'm afraid this shit's gonna come down to more than willpower. Try it, man. Shit. Fabiana had slipped through my fingers for a second time. Another habit I didn't want or need. It was close. We almost had her. Damn. I don't think we ever had much of a chance. No one told us they had an entire goddamn army. I don't think anybody knew. Crazy shit. Yeah. It's all crazy, pal. Non-stop insanity. Thought I left all this shit behind. <sighs> Easy gig, you said. What a fool I was to get involved in this madness. Bastard, come on. I'm up. Yeah? You don't look up. Just give me a second, will you? Really not feeling too good. <clears throat> hey, Max, what is it with you in interior design? Huh? You, you really know how to give a place a great lived-in feel, huh? This is beautiful. Fuck off with the fucking wisecracks. Really, I'm not in the mood. Okay, sorry, bro. The boss wants to see us, so let's go, come on. Time, man. Fucking unbelievable. Jesus. I heard that. Oh, give me a second. I'm not feeling so good. Bon dia.
Fernanda, se estão aí? O que, que a senhora acha? Claro que sim. E o senhor bem pontual, Tudo bem. Não? Ah. You fucking pair of clowns! I'm sorry, sir. We risked our lives several times over trying to save... I... I... I know. I just wish I knew what was happening and why. Yes. Who has it in for our family? I mean, just because we are rich and happy? Is that a good reason to hate us? I do a lot of good in this town. A lot! This is hell for me. As I told you yesterday, when I get Fabiana back, I think I will move us to Miami or Geneva. But it feels like nothing good can come from living in Sao Paulo right now. I hope you're not giving up on our city, Senor Branco. Listen, we will catch the man. You have my word on that. Listen to Mr. Becker, brother. Yes, these are tough times, but we have been through it before. Like when father died. Father had a heart attack visiting a brothel. Yeah, it was humiliating, embarrassing for sure. But now this is different. This is the end for Well, she's not dead. Maybe we'll be lucky and get her back safe soon. I can almost guarantee it. If you do as I ask. Maybe. Be strong, brother. For your wife. I know this has been tough on you. But things will get better. For all of us. Hmm? Marcelo, pasos in my helicopter. This way. Sure. Mr. Becker? Senhor? Let us give you a ride. Bom. Até logo, senhor Branco. And may I say, you would be best served se contratar profissionais e não esses amadores pés de chinelo. Goodbye, Mr. Baker. Até logo, Sr. Branco. I had so many plans, Max. Didn't we all? I was born into great fortune. Sometimes it feels like I have done nothing apart from being a rich man in a poor country. The men I talk to, they only see money. Now my wife, I am not naive. She does not love me for my body. Well, despite your good fortune, you're still a decent man. <laughs> am I? I don't know. I try to be. But maybe I'm just another rich fool, just like the rest of my friends. Com licença. Tem uma ligação para o senhor, um policial chamado Senhor da Silva. Ah, diga que eu ligo mais tarde. Sim. Another bent cop wanting a pension contribution. Do you think a pile of shit feels popular because it's surrounded by flies? Look at me. I'm a mess. O que está acontecendo? Meu Deus! Sim, pode entrar! Senhor, temos um problema. O sistema de segurança foi desativado. I can see that. We got men entering the building and the office won't lock down. Posso? Claro que pode. It's not working. Uh, there's a way to reboot the system. If I can get to the server room, I should be able to get everything back online. Strange. You pay a couple million dollars and you expect to, to push a button to, to be able to, to make all your problems go away. Got was some useless junk and a bit of false confidence. I'm done, Max. Sir, let us handle this. You stay in your office, lock yourself in. Do not answer the door unless you know it's me. Let's go. I should be able to override the system if I could just get to the server room. What's going on? Nothing to worry about. Everything's fine. Get down behind the desk now, both of you. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. We need to get you to the server room. Let's go. 
Por que não posso ficar aqui com você debaixo da mesa? Let's go, come on! Ok! I'm coming! Come on! The real security guards had been run off, paid off, or bumped off. That left us. It wasn't a fantastically comforting thought. Stay with me, Max! That was the office Victor used at Fabricast Bronco. Victor's office had Second Son written all over it, half the size of Rodrigo's and a tenth as fancy. Marcelo's must have been a box, and they'd been keeping an eye on Fabiana from afar. Shame they'd been more interested in supposed infidelities than thugs sizing her up for a snatch. Come on, Max! This code should get us into the boardroom. Okay. Glad to see the security system is keeping the right people out. Ah! Oh, oh shit! shit! Are we dead? No such luck. We gotta go. It's through here. It was a lot shinier than a favela, and rent would be easier to collect. Maybe Bronco would take pity on all the poor bastards who got evicted. I just had to keep him alive to find out. It's through here. I'd woken up with a headache, and it was only getting worse. Come on! Through here! Hey, the server room is just past those cubicles. These clowns were the same guns for hire who jumped our exchange at the stadium. Cracha Prado, the black badge. Right-wing paramilitary chumps protecting whoever paid the most. I guess that made them more like me than I cared to admit. Were they just looking for another payday, or did their business with the Broncos run deeper? Good to go. Let's get that server back online. Can we just spend a few more minutes? Make sure they're all gone? Come on. Don't worry. I got your back. Poor kid was scared shitless. 
but I thought we'd seen the worst of it. Okay. The, the server room is just down here. You're doing good. Come on. Hey, I just... I didn't think I'd have a day like this when I wake up in the mornings. <laughs> Wish I could say the same thing. Mm -hmm. Fact was, I'd gotten used to protecting Bronco in the big bad world. We hadn't anticipated a siege situation here. Hadn't prepared for it. I couldn't tell the kid that. Something told me these guys didn't have security clearance. Over here. Come on, move. You're gonna be able to fix this or what? Give me a few minutes, eh? I should be able to reboot the system, get all the components back online. What about Bronco's office? That's all I care about. You should be able to lock us down, eh? If this works. All right, well, whatever you're doing, do it quick. I'm gonna make a sweep of the building and then get back to Rodrigo's. security system was back online. Things might be a little tougher for our fan club from here on in. It seemed like breaching the perimeter had been no more difficult than strolling through the front gates. But hey, who needs a Trojan horse when the alarm is down and your standing army is a dame, a dork, and a drunk? Bronco's office overlooked the atrium. I could check in and make sure he hadn't checked out. You guys working on the security system now, sir? It just came on. Okay, good. Then lock yourself down. Stay put. Let us take care of these guys down here. Once they realize they can't get to you, they should back off. Max, try not to completely destroy the place. Let's just concentrate on staying alive. Sir! There it went. 
He was tucked up safe. Now I needed to make it to the lobby to complete my sweep of the building, for what that was worth. One of the perks of working for Fabricas Bronco. Hmm, graduation shots of Rodrigo, Victor, and Marcelo, educated at rich kid finishing schools all over Europe. No wonder they had the common touch. Poor girl was dead. Shot through the head by some hero fighting the rich one lonely secretary at a time. Rapaz, 